the Food Crisis Forecasting Agency created by the United States has added its voice to warnings of imminent and widespread famine in Yemen because of the Saudi-led blockade, now more than two weeks old. The American Alert on Yemen, from the Famine Early Warning Systems Network, said that a prolonged closure of key ports in Yemen risks an unprecedented deterioration in food security to its worst category, Phase 5, across large areas of the country. The five-stage scale with Phase 5 being famine is used by humanitarian aid groups to anticipate the severity of potential hunger emergencies. Famine is defined as existing in areas in which at least one in five households suffers an extreme lack of food and other basic needs where starvation, death and destitution are evident. Relief officials of the United Nations and other humanitarian groups have said at least 7 million people are at risk of famine in Yemen, the Arab world's poorest country, because of restrictions on deliveries imposed by the Saudi-led military coalition that has been fighting Yemen's Iran-backed Houthi rebels since 2015. More than 20 million of Yemen's 27 million people need some kind of assistance, the United Nations has said. Two weeks ago, Mark Lowcock, the humanitarian relief coordinator for the United Nations, said that unless the blockade was rescinded so food deliveries could resume, Yemen would suffer the largest famine the world has seen for many decades, with millions of victims. The Famine Early Warning Systems Network, known as FuseNet, has long advised of the risk of possible famine in Yemen in the event of port closings or other obstacles to imports. But its latest warning, dated Monday, was more severe because of the blockade. Now that this has occurred, our level of concern has increased significantly and the recent alert uses much stronger language on famine than our previous reporting, Marie Maroon, a spokeswoman for FuseNet, said Tuesday in an email. At least 80% of Yemen's basic food supply must be imported, mostly through ship deliveries. The latest FuseNet warning said that if all ports remain closed, or reopen but are unable to support large-scale imports of essential goods, famine is likely in many areas of the country within three to four months. In less accessible areas with the most severe current food insecurity, the warning said, famine could emerge even more quickly. Saudi officials did not immediately respond to requests for comment about the warning. Based in Washington, FuseNet was created in 1985 by the United States Agency for International Development to help decision-makers plan for humanitarian crises, according to its website. It provides analysis on nearly three dozen countries. The blockade also has threatened to choke Yemen's freshwater supply and worsen a cholera crisis that has sickened nearly one million people. A Red Cross spokeswoman, Ayalanda Jaquimet, was quoted by Reuters as saying that fuel for municipal water pumps has been exhausted, putting at least 2.5 million people at risk of another major outbreak of waterborne disease. The United Nations and humanitarian aid groups have beseeched Saudi Arabia to end the Yemen blockade, imposed in response to what the Saudis described as a ballistic missile fired from Yemen by Houthi rebels at Riyadh, the Saudi capital, on November.